Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Balram Prasad and I am working with Microsoft as a senior software engineer. In today's demo, we are going to create Azure DevOps organization. And using this organization, we want to connect group of related project. And inside this related project, there will be associated repos where we will connect our Azure related resources, we will see how we can check in the code or how we can connect with Azure Data Factory or Snaps and we will use that. So let's go and create Azure DevOps organization. So for this demo, we are into our portal and we can search Azure DevOps organization, uh, Azure DevOps organization and then we can go ahead and create that. So if we go and search that Azure DevOps organization, it comes here. So we can go ahead and if we go into more details, it says that, okay, get started with Azure DevOps. If we click that one, a new window will be opening. And in that window, we can see the documentation and other things. The second option is billing management for Azure DevOps. And we can see that, okay, five, first five user basic license is free in fear, free tiers. Uh, so right now, if we go into pipeline, we can have one Microsoft hosted CI CD, one concurrent job up to 30 hours per month, one self hosted CI CD concurrent job, board boards we can have for work item tracking, repo we can have an unlimited private repo, and Azure Artifact 2 GB free per month. So that kind of we can have, and we will see that what is the billing and other things. Let's go back here and let's click on my Azure DevOps organization. It will take us to this screen where we can select our directory. And this is our my directory, default directory. I have many directory, but this is what I want to create. So I can go ahead and start creation of a new organization. So let me click on the create new organization. Now it is asking about that uh, we want to get the information and term and condition. So let's see that one. Now we have to give that what organization name we want to have. The softest circle, I think I have another one. It will be not giving that one. So softest circle, we can have demo, right? Service demo, okay? And then it will be into central US. Let me put this capture. Now it will be taking us to our DevOps organization. And that is how we are going to create that one. So let's see what happens right now. So we can give the project details and other things. And I was so I just want to see that one, how I am logged in right now before creation of any project. So I can create the project also. I just want to make sure that I am in right directory because I have too many directory. So this is the right directory. I just wanted to build around, but this is a for, yeah. So this is the correct directory. So let me go ahead and create one project and project will be that ADF demos or let's put that demos. Okay, and I'm going to create the project as a uh, private, not public. So let me create this project. Now project has been created. So we have organization created, we have project created. And when we create the project by default, one repo has been created called demos. We can create multiple repo with the new repository. We will see that later how to create new repository. So that is how we set up our organization. And if we go back into our mission, there are many settings which we can do. And we will slowly see into rest of the demos that how we can have rest of the things. So this is our URL for DevOps, dev.uzu.url and uh, softwarecircle.com. And that's what we can see it here also. And uh, we can see that how many project we have inside this organization. We can have multiple project and multiple project can have multiple repos and other things. Users, how many users are there? We can go ahead and see add users from that also. So it is access level is this. Uh, there are three access level. We can search with right now. 
repository and other things uh, it it will go ahead and see that which repo we want to add so we can see that later how to add this one and if we go into azure DevOps directory right now if you see right now our organization is connected to this directory we can see the directory we can do a lot of different stuff but it is good that we can invite the user from this directory and they can come and access that one or we will connect this one using our uh, connection when we will create the connection and other things when we will do the ci cd we will see that one and leverage this feature so there are multiple and we will see slowly one by one if we go into repository we can uh, set some settings over there that hey default branch name for new repository should be a start with main not the master previously it was supposed to be master and other things that we can set up all the details and how much uh, our storage setting for artifact for free tier we have seen that how much it can happen i guess 2 gb will it will happen so that we can see and let's go for billing section uh, because we wanted to have to see one time that how billing look like and right now if we see that we have this many of minute of ci cd in free tab and uh, right now we can go and start using our free tire for boards and repository and other things and we will see so right now this is right now uh, billing has been no set up for this accessibility available up to free tier limit so we do not have to set up right now whatever free is there we can go with that so and all the permission and all this policy will be there so that we will see slowly uh, so this is what i wanted to share in this video how to create azure devops organization thank you mm -hmm.